Hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson we are coming back and continuing on with the special move 3 script and we're going to begin we need to create one more variable so public int underscore and we're going to put button combination target <coughs> and I'm going to set this for 20 obviously that value may need to be changed button combination target value I'll put for the comment and now let's continue down so let's come to the void update and below this if block we're going to create another one if open and close brackets button combination progress is greater than zero we're going to use the double and underscore button one double equals true come to the end of the line we'll open and close brackets again Again, we'll put this in the comments if button combination progress is greater than zero and button one is equal to true inside the brackets we're going to say underscore button combination progress plus plus and we'll close the line off increase the button combination progress counter next line underscore pause between button presses equals underscore pause default and into the comments reset the pause timer to the default value okay with that in place let's now come to the I enumerator special move 3 and we're going to begin here between the pause line and the yield return null we're going to say if open and close brackets again button combination progress is greater than or equals the button combination target come to the end of the line and we'll create another set of brackets as always we'll come back and put this into the comments so if button combination progress is equal to in fact I'll put greater than or equal to that's more accurate the button combination target And now we'll come inside the brackets. We're going to 
player one and we want the movement script dot underscore special move three active equals true we'll close that line off in the comments we'll say then set the variable to true in fact i'll just downsize i'll check the player one movement so in the play one movement yes we do need to put that that is a static bool the special move three active so let's just change that we'll save that off we'll come back and we're going to create a space here now we're going to create another function that we are going to call here so let's come down to the bottom and we'll create this private void and yeah let's call this execute special move we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again we'll just copy that naming convention we'll paste that in we'll open and close brackets again we'll close the line off and we'll just put in the comments that we're calling that function And we'll come below and we'll use the stop so it's going to be the stop all core routines sorry it just threw me for a moment there when um, for some reason the IntelliSense has decided to start working but never mind we'll carry on stop all core routines on this script and we'll just save that off for a moment i'm just going to check the console with the intellisense not working just to make sure that i haven't made a mistake somewhere and then we're going to come to the execute special move and we're going to fill out this function and luckily we can do some copying so button combination progress equals zero i'm just taking this from the pause function and the line where we set the pause to the default value so let's come here we're going to get component and we'll get the play one movement open and close dot and we're going to say the player one states equals player one movement dot player one states 
dot special move three. Let's close that line off. We'll just break that up for commenting. And we'll put this into comments. Get the player one movement script. component and set the players I put player one states actually to equal and I'll just put within this script for that line to the special move three and just save that off there again we'll just check make sure I haven't made any errors so I'm going to leave it here for this video with the IntelliSense not working it's um I think it would be best to leave it here for now and uh, we'll come back and we will test out in the very next lesson so we'll just do a quick video for the next lesson just to test everything out and see how everything is working and um, then we'll begin to tidy everything up within the script so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now.